Good morning, students of class 10. Welcome back to the e-classes now. Today we are doing English. Lesson 9 from Supplementary Reader. The name of the chapter is, the title of the chapter is Boli. B-H-O-L-I, Boli. Chapter 9, Lesson 9 from Supplementary Reader. So this is a new lesson. From this is the last lesson from supplementary reader. Then we'll go back to the text. Text. Some lessons are left from the text. So we'll complete this lesson first from the supplementary reader. This is the last. About the chapter. So what is the chapter all about? It's about a young girl who was discriminated by her family members and by her uh, colleagues and her relatives, everybody discriminated her. Why? Because she had poor marks on her face. She used to stammer. She never used to speak properly. She, she finds it very difficult. She finds, she finds very difficult to speak and she was not beautiful. She was ugly. So let's see now how she was discriminated and how her life changed. About the chapter, number one, there are altogether six points I have written over here. Listen carefully, pay attention, try to understand all about the chapter. Then we will go in detail. First we will talk about the chapter. What is the chapter all about? Bholi is the story of a village girl. She is from a small village, not from the city, where all kinds of facilities are available. She lives in a village with minimum facilities. The Bholi is the story of a village girl who was discriminated as she had pop marks. Pop marks means the marks left after the wound or after the scar. After the wound gets cured, the marks are left, especially on her face due to chicken uh, smallpox. So poke marks on her face. She also stammered. Stammered means difficulty in speaking. She used to say the same word two, three times. She used to stammer and was considered to be a simply tom. Simply tall means lacking common sense. She doesn't have common sense. So that's why she was discriminated. Not in the neighborhood, but also in the house. Number two, she suffered an attack of smallpox. Because of this smallpox, she had poke marks. When the smallpox gets cured, it leaves the poke marks all over the body and disfigure the person appearance so many people at that time there was no cure for smallpox many thousands of people have died all over the world due to smallpox and those who were cured they were disfigured in their appearance their faces and bodies they had the smallpox left poke marks so she suffered an attack of smallpox when she was just two years old. When Bholi was two years old, when she was very very young, two years old, smallpox attacked her. Luckily she survived but left poke marks all over her body and disfigured her. She also damaged a part of her brain. How? She also damaged part of her brain because when she fell off a cot, she fell down from the cot, from the bed and she fell with her head first and when she was very very young, two years when she was, and some part of the brain was damaged. The family could not notice at that time. When she grew, she became a quite handicapped child. So she became quite abnormal. We'll learn as we go through the chapter. 
Number three, education turned and transformed a timid girl into a fearless and courageous girl. You see how education has transformed this young girl, a timid girl, a simpleton, the girl lacking common sense, the girl who stammered too much, who had poor marks, who was discriminated in the family and by the neighbors and all her friends. How this girl has changed due to education. Education has turned this timid girl into a fearless and courageous girl or a lady later on in future. First, she agreed to marry according to the chapter First, she agreed to marry an unequal match. Unequal match means quite old, aged person, just to maintain the honor of the family. To maintain the honor of the family, respect of the family in the society, she agreed to marry an unmatched person, an aged person, who was also lame. She remained quiet. She did not say anything. She agreed. But, but when the honor of the family was at stake, at stake means at danger, when the honor or when the respect of the family was in danger, when his father put his turban at the feet of the groom, she thought this is too much. And she showed the courage to protect the honor of the family and refused to marry a mean, greedy and a coward as her husband. She refused to marry. In front of all the people, she spoke in such a way that all were surprised. She used to stammer. How she is talking so beautifully now? And she is so courageous. How courageous she spoke in front of all the people to protect the honor of the family. While her teacher was standing in the corner and looking and smiling. Nobody expected this girl to speak in such a way to protect the honor of the family. The teacher was smiling in the corner. She was also present in the ceremony. She was smiling and she was smiling for her achievements because she made that girl a courageous and a fearless lady. She provided the education. She loved her so much. She taught her with love. So, number, number six, Lesson we learn from this chapter is education leads you the right way. Education will provide you the right direction, will provide you courage, will provide you all everything, inner strength, courage, determination, everything. So education is just like the light that shows you the way, way right? Way. So education leads you the right way and you will definitely achieve what you have thought or you will reach your goal. So education is so important, you see. Without education, your life will become dark. Without education, the life of this girl, Holi, would have been very dark. She would have suffered throughout her life. But due to education she received from that teacher who lovingly taught her, her life was changed. So you see that that, that will be the lesson we will learn now in our next class we will go according to the paragraph wise. So paragraph wise we will do, this is just about the whole chapter, what is it all about. So it's about a young girl who became so courageous, fearless and fought for her right, fought for the honor of the family. And all the people were surprised and astonished to hear and see her bravery and her <coughs> No, that's all for today. Thank you very much for uh, watching so much, so nicely and attentively. We'll meet in the next class and continue. Thank you very much.